Hi, Brains. How are you? Waiting for my guest, trying to get myself together. Get ready right before the holiday season. And I'm just so excited about it. Yes, I get excited about the littlest things because I'm grateful. I appreciate it. And there is my guest, Gloria Grace Rand. How are you today, wonderful? I am very well. How are you? I'm good. Can you see me and hear me? I can see you and hear you. Can you see me and hear me? I can see you and hear you and look at that bright light. You are just wonderful. I'm <laughs> Welcome to On the Edge with April Mahoney. I was just talking to the brains and trying to introduce them to you and uh, tell them all about our great interview that we're going to have here. Oh, well, awesome. Appreciate that. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, so I've been looking forward to So you were a news writer and you live in uh, Orlando, Florida still? I do, yes. Wow. So you've done media and you have a podcast as well. Is that correct? I, I have a, well, I, I have a podcast about to relaunch. I did one about four years ago <coughs> and it was strictly about online marketing and, but I'm getting ready to relaunch this, um, hopefully in the next two weeks at the, at the latest. And it's called Live, Love, Engage. And it's more about practical advice from a spiritual perspective on how to really? live fully, love deeply, and engage authentically. Oh, shoot. You are doing some heavy lifting there, beautiful. <laughs> so tell my brains a little bit about you, Gloria Grace. Well, I would be happy to. I am, yeah, as you mentioned, my background is actually in television. Um, I currently live outside of Orlando. I'm married. I've got two grown children. I've got two dogs and two cats. And a long time ago, I worked for the Nightly Business Report on public television before I started my own business. And uh, oh. yeah, so that was that was a really um, a wonderful experience. I really, I really enjoyed working for them. Um, but of course, when the recession hit, um, uh, PBS lost a lot of corporate funding, government funding, and I wound up losing my job. So I had to wow. come up with something else to do. And that's how I landed in copywriting and invested in a course. And um, after that, it's, my life totally changed. I was able to, it was a blessing and a privilege to be able to help other small business owners with their, with their and marketing. And I work over at KPBS, so I understand. People mm -hmm. support the public television because you know why? It's real news. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Okay. It's local, you know, they really care about it. They do great work. They're bipartisan. Mm -hmm. uh, they just really want to report the facts. And so I really support that. And you know what? When you lost your job, they lost a treasure. Mm -hmm. So you went into business for yourself. Tell me what you're pouring into people and really what you look to achieve. Um, well, I, I love helping business owners to be able to, um, to show what's unique about them and to help them to be able to attract their ideal customers. And so that's my, my business started out where I was doing SEO copywriting. So writing content for their websites and I, enjoyed that and I still enjoy doing that even though like I say I've my I've been evolving a little bit over the last couple of years and doing uh, newer things and, and expanding into uh, things like health coaching and uh, and the spiritual uh, speaking and things like that because it's something that's really near and dear to my heart but I do still enjoy I really enjoy writing that is still one of my my clear passions and to be able to help business owners have a clear message on their website it's so right. important because you know people we have such short attention spans and when <laughs> you know they've only got someone comes to your website you've you've got you know just a few short seconds to be able to convey why someone needs to do business with you right. so it's important shoot, shoot us into that, that in, into that space tell yeah. us what are a couple things that we really need to include you know i've gotten flyers and invitations and folks have forgot to put the address the time, how much it costs. I mean, ask the critical six questions. When you create any content brains, even taking a phone message, who, what, when, where, why, and how. Mm -hmm. You answer those six questions. That is complete information. Do you agree, Gloria Grace? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I mean, I have still occasionally will come across a website where they don't have any contact information, especially if, it, if it's a local business, 
have your phone number somewhere and <laughs> write this prominent so people can get a hold of you. I know. Well, you know, they don't want to be bothered. If you don't want to be bothered via phone, I get it. But put your email address. Make yeah. sure that it's it's spelled properly and mm -hmm. that the colors don't mesh in with the back of the card. They can't find your brains and nobody is going to uh, chase you down to do yeah. business with you. There's always somebody else doing just what you're doing, right, Gloria? Absolutely, absolutely. And one one part of your website that you should pay close attention to is the about page because that's one of the pages that people really look at closely because they want to know about you. Because remember the old adage is people do business with people they know, like, and trust. Absolutely. So that is where you can say, okay, not only who I am, but why, why you should be doing business with me. That's the important thing. You've always got to remember. I, I had a client once who everything on his website was all about how great he was, but he forgot about thinking about the customer. What, what is it that right. they want? What right. do they want to see? And so you've got to be able to keep what's in it for now. Yeah, <laughs> it's an ROI. They're doing yeah. business with you and you really need to be secondary and they need to be primary. Mm -hmm. And what, you, what your content is and your message. You say the about me uh, page is so important. A lot of people run on about what they did 20 years ago. <laughs> Hit it quick and slick and a deliverable. What are you going to be able to do for that client? Tell us a little bit also about copywriting on uh, text and in websites because a lot of people don't know that they should have that all rights reserved and the mm -hmm. copyright information on their website. Be careful not to plagiarize and mm -hmm. you know, you're taking pictures that are copywritten, you're taking songs that are copywritten. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I'm, I'm not a, in that sense, a copyright expert. So you definitely should uh, probably consult an attorney, but you're, but you are absolutely right. You don't want to, in particular, I know with images that you can get slammed big time. I mean, sued, in fact, from people, if you are using someone else's images on your website. So it's very important that you, there are um, royalty free images that you can get on, on, that you can do searching for on Google to use that, but better off, you're better off using your own, right. your own images, because that way you, that's your stuff. That's your, your, um, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Your property. property. Your, yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's so that, that's going to protect you. That's good. So when you say you write copy, you write the actual written text. The written text. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When I, when I first started my business, I got a lot of confusion <laughs> from people that they were like, so do you copyright documents and things? I'm like, no, no, no. I, I write content. <laughs> I write the words. Right. Yeah. So that's great. So, and also you lost a whole lot of weight. <laughs> you look I did. Striking. How did you do it? Oh, I did it through uh, a program that's called Optavia. And what's wonderful about this program is it is a way, it, it teaches you how to be healthy for life. And so it offers you, um, their, their whole premise, I don't know if you've ever heard about where, the, where you eat like six small meals a day. Right. Uh, yeah, because that that's really, it, it, <laughs> well, it, 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 it can work because it helps you with keeping your metabolism regulated and so that you don't have those big spikes in your in uh, you know your sugar and things like that and and so that's that's one thing that they teach they also provide you with a free health coach because mm. one of the things and I and I know this is for someone who has I had struggled with my weight my whole life and I've done all sorts of diets over the years but never nothing really stuck until this and it's because having a coach, someone to hold you accountable is so important. It really helps, I mean, in any aspect of life, frankly, um, but definitely when you're dealing with trying to get into better health and trying to lose weight, having a coach, someone there to check in on you and to encourage you when you're, you know, sometimes you're not doing as great and, you know, but, but it's okay. You know, if you have someone there to encourage you, yeah, because you're human. Yeah, well, you know, holiday season, and we're just going to gorge ourselves. You know, oh, you walk past, you see the cookie. Oh, okay, well, there's a peanut butter cookie. Okay, well, let's try the cheese bread cookie, and let's try this. You know, and you do that, and everyone's always bringing desserts and all that. But you can have these treats, but you just have to manage them and oh, yeah. with your coach. You're also a speaker and a best-selling author. What is in the pages of your book? Tell us about your book. 
<laughs> well, I've been I've been in two, um, actually three. I take that back. Three compilations so far. Um, the, the last two, the most recent two, one was called "Conceive to Lead," and the other one was about uh, unscripted, how entrepreneurs leap and find success. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote chapters in those two books. But I'm also really excited because I'm finally stepping out on a limb and writing my own book and it's and it's called live love engage and it is something that this was something that came to me during a morning meditation wow. let's see three years ago and it was like god said you have to write a book about love and i'm like uh what what are you talking about <laughs> i do marketing what do i know about love are you right. but but as I started writing about and kind of journaling on it, it was like these ideas were coming to me and I was like, oh, okay. All right. And but so what, what ideas, what, what are you talking about love? What do you, well, I, what I'm talking about is that love is, has been shown to me is that love is an acronym. And so it's, it's, um, what originally originally was four steps. Now it's eight steps, but the, the main four were L stands for let go and let God. Mm. O stands for open your heart to receive. And I just had this come to me this week is not only receiving like, like money or receiving compliments, but to receive the messages in inner messages from your heart. Right. Um, v is valuing your uniqueness as an individual and E is to embrace your divinity. And so that's what I'm writing about. And I've been spending all summer. I'm, Friday mornings, I go to the beach and I had been, and I've been writing because that's my happy place. Um, and, and it's been, so I'm really working now on typing up everything that I wrote and now I've got to really start polishing it up. And, and, but my goal is to get it, get it out there next year. And so what is your writing process? So now you go to the beach and you get in this state of meditation and you wash your feet in the ocean water to ground <laughs> you. Uh, I get it because I do it. You know, I do it all the time. Uh, but yeah. when you get in this place, what is your writing process? Do you, you know, just kind of make notes and then go back and fill in the white spaces? What's your process? Tell us a little bit about that. Um, sure. It's, well, it, it was almost exactly like you said. I go to the beach. I set my chair up. I go for a walk along the shore first, do dip my toes in the water. Uh -huh. and, then, and then I come back, sit down and just say, you know, God, what do you want me to say today? Wow. And I open up my journal and then I... I've been, you know, talking, so I, I've said there's this four-step process, so I started with, okay, what does let go and let God mean? What does that mean? And then I just start um, writing about that, and then sometimes I will, I will get distracted, and I'll see, like, a little crab running around, and, and then I'll be like, hmm, I wonder what that means, and I, I do some looking up about spirit animals, because inevitably I'll get stuck, and then something will happen, and like I said, a butterfly will fly by or I'll see something in the, in the ground. And, um, and that sparks me doing some more research or, or suddenly a song will pop in my head and I'll have to I'll look up the lyrics. And inevitably there's even a message in, in the song lyrics. Um, that's happened to me a lot over the last year. I'll, I'll be like meditating and a or song something will, or come something will happen to you in your life and you look at television and there it is. Oh or yeah. A song that you can identify with. So yeah. you mentioned God a lot mm -hmm. and I know that he is the head or, you know, I don't know what your religious doctrine is, but I know that that is the head of your life. If God were to speak to you and say, Gloria Grace ran, you are a faithful servant why should I be proud of you? What would you say? I would say is that I don't give up. <laughs> I don't give up. I've been uh, knocked down a bunch of times in my life. I mean, even, even starting as a kid. Um, but I... Oh, geez. I just had this, I don't know if you remember the weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. <laughs> I know. You can't spell those anymore. <laughs> I don't know, but that just popped in my head. But that's what I feel like sometimes. It's like, yeah, you can knock me down, but I but I pick myself up again. And, you know, I might cry for a little while and, and struggle, but eventually it's like, okay, I'll take a breath. And it's like, all right, let me get, let me get on because I do know that, and I really feel this, is that I've got... I, I'm here, here again. It's like all these 
things are popping in my head. The Blues Brothers, remember the Blues Brothers? They are, they're on a mission from God. Oh, yeah. I, I feel that way now, that I am on this mission from God to really help other people and to really touch them more deeply and help them to really connect with the, the who they are. The, okay. My mother always taught me that I was a child of God. Uh -huh. and, and God doesn't make junk either. And so, but too many of us, I think, have, we forget that and we're not paying attention to it. And we're living too much in our head and not in our heart. Right, right. So, that's, that's so God is going to be glad that you are a heart-centered woman. What would you tell the person that is overeating and just can't get their head around it? What would you say to them? Oh, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's tough. It really is. In fact, I'm, 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 I myself have been straying a little bit and I'm trying to figure out how is the best way to be able to maintain what I've lost so far. I, I would say number one is don't be too hard on yourself um, because I, have, well, I, had, I had a counselor once who just said, you know, sometimes we just hit the pause button and it's okay. So you can just hit pause. The thing is you can start over anytime. You know, don't wait till tomorrow and say, oh, tomorrow I'll eat better. You can just say, all right, yeah, I screwed up earlier today. You know what? I maybe shouldn't have had that cookie, but cookies. starting right now, oh, yeah. You're talking all right, about cookies, cookies, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Starting right now, I'm going to make healthier choices right now. Right. And it's about really figuring out how, what's your why? I mean, that's the important thing is, are, are you, because if you're trying to do it for somebody else, it's not going to work. You've got to do it for yourself and just you might take some soul searching, do a little journaling on it right. and, and just say, okay, how do I want to be, how do I want to act? Do I want, and if I really want to be healthy and live a long life, right. then I need to take, you, you've got to start taking care, better care of your body. And you got to buy into it. Yeah. You got to buy into it and you have to own it. Okay. So yep. you're this great giver. You're this great servant of the Lord. Uh, <laughs> you are a great coach and author. What is your why? What what does this all do for you? That's what I want to know. You know, so many people are here on the edge. They want to know. Okay, great. You know, I'm a, I'm very philanthropic, or you know, uh, I'm I'm the martyr, or whatever. But again, what is it? What just makes your ego rise? Oh well, I I think my my why now. I think it stems from where this all came from, where, where this, this, this journey I'm on, um, was from my sister. And she, uh, she unfortunately had, uh, came down with cancer four years ago and, uh, and lost her battle in 2016. And that was a, that was a tough thing to go through because she was my last surviving family member, you know, the family I had growing up. My parents are long gone. I had a brother that's long gone. But the important thing about that was the time that we got to spend together was such a gift. And I'm so grateful for it now because we got to reminisce about our different childhoods because she was 10 years older than me. And we got to spend a lot of great quality time together. And we both were started exploring our spirituality. And, and it ultimately, I think, really did help me to, um, to Gain, to become closer to God. And so I, I, I feel like I want to do this maybe in her memory uh, to honor her and, and some of the struggles that she had because she struggled with depression a, long, a lot of times in her life, as did my mother. And, and I think part of it is, is that we've gotten, when we get too much in our head and not following our heart and not trusting who we are, that we are a divine spiritual being having this human existence, so if I can help others spare them some of the pain that she went through, then, then I know my life is going to be oh, worth it. That's wonderful. That mm -hmm. is wonderful. Well, you're a giver in so many ways. You're a wife, you're a mother, and a pet parent. <laughs> yes. Tell me about your four pets. Oh. Four. How'd you get four? I, uh, you know what? They, they are all rescues of, oh, of one you. form or another. Yep. We, um, we got our first dog Sophie who is a um, border collie mix we've got her from our local shelter and then she started nipping at my heels too much and it was really getting hard to get work done so I said we got to get another dog and so we got a lab we fostered a few until we landed on Lexi who is our Labrador mix 
Um, then we found Fiona, I found walking the two dogs alongside our street and I kept hearing this strange little high pitched sound and I couldn't figure out what it was. And then all of a sudden they looked and it was a little kitten. She literally fit in the palm of my hand. She was probably only about five weeks old. And every day I saw her and finally on Friday, I said, okay, that's it. I'm taking you home with me because nobody is claiming you. Um, and then finally we have our fourth cat is, um, actually it's interesting, the two dogs are black and with a little bit of white. Fiona is black, she's a tuxedo cat. Mm -hmm. But then I had Siamese growing up and I missed having a Siamese cat. So I got in touch with a Siamese rescue. And now I have a beautiful seal point uh, boy cat who is a real lovey dovey pussy cat. And so that's our, that's our lovely menagerie. So everybody gets along okay, the cats and the dogs? Uh, yeah, they get, they get along. Jackson, the, the cat, he, he likes to kind of pounce on Fiona a bit and she's not always too happy about that, but, but it's interesting. They, um, Lexi, our lab and, and Jackson, they are two lovey doveys and then Fiona and Sophie, they're a little bit more high strung. They're a little bit more skittish. Um, but, but they do. Yeah. They, they, they all get along. So it's, well, you know, that's nice wonderful family. that, you know, they, they're <laughs> able to get along and you're such a giving person. You're just so open. I, you know, when I first talked to you, I heard your voice and I was like, wow, you know, this is a great spirit. And I do that. I connect on an energy level, on a spiritual level. I go deep. You know, I tell people all the time, I don't want the ordinary on the edge. I want the extraordinary, you know, and that could be a billionaire or that could be a homeless person. Anybody that is really willing to give, share, and to grow and develop others. Now you're a coach and a mentor, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, so I, I, like I said, I not only do health coaching, but I also do, uh, I guess you could say business and life coaching as well. So I, I've worked with a, a few clients and, and helping them. Uh, my last client, she was really um, struggling with time management was one of her big issues and, and right. I helped her out with that. And she was overjoyed because she was able to get so much more done now. And I really enjoy helping people like that. Well, you know what? I'm telling you, Brains, uh, and Gloria will attest to that. You can get more money, you can get more shoes, clothes, but you're not going to get no more time. Mm -hmm. And so you need to honor and value people's time. You need to show up early. You need to be respectful. If you can't make it, you need to cancel your appointment. Mm -hmm. You need to schedule in personal time for yourself and your family and your health and your relaxation. And then you need to fill in all the rest of that with business because the money's going to come. But if you are not balanced, you know, you're going to be jacked up. Gloria, do you have a copy of any of your books right there with you so my brains can see? I, I, I do. Hold on. All right. One quick, quick, yeah, sure. quick second. All right. She's going to get the books, Brain. I want you to see um, uh -huh. what she is involved in. Sorry about that. that. I should have covered here, but... Anyway, so, this is all right. So hold it kind of straight and give them a second. Pull it all. Pull it up a little bit so we can see okay. it. So we can see it all. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can purchase that on Amazon. Amazon, absolutely. Yep. Okay. All right. Great. All right. And then this is the other compilation. Okay. Hold on. Give it a minute. Yeah, because you know <laughs> folks got to adjust their glasses. <laughs> That's right. Perfect. That is beautiful. And so awesome. when is going to be the release of your actual book? My actual book? Um, and well, and I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to self-publish or if I'm going to see about getting someone else. I will probably self-publish though. So I'm, all right, I'm putting it out here. I'm committing myself. So I would say by June, June 1st. So let's see if I can get that, get my acting gear and get that get it published by then. Well, so. either way, I've self-published three books and have been extremely successful, but along those same lines, I'd be on the grind, okay? I sold two <laughs> books the other day, and it was brand new. I tell people all the time, if they're still selling the Bible, the Torah, and the Quran, I'm still selling mine, okay? So <laughs> it's brand new to the person that has never purchased it or has never read it. So yep. be excited about it. Uh, I'm looking so forward to it. Tell my brains how to get in contact with you if they want to work with you, do some coaching, if they want some more information on Optavia, or if they need some content written for their website or their business. Absolutely. Well, my, my main website is pretty easy. It's my name. It's GloriaRand.com. So G-L-O-R-I-A-R-A-N-D.com. Uh, so they can definitely get a hold of me there. Um, I'm on social media. 
um, as well. In fact, I've got a um, I've got a growing Facebook group right now that you can. It's called Live Love Engage, a spiritual awakening community, and you can go to it by just going to LiveLoveEngage.com. And I'd love to have have you there. Um, we're going to be doing a, a a challenge in a couple of weeks uh, to help people to recharge their life and uh, kind of get rid of some of the stress with the holidays coming up. So um, exactly participate in that too. Right. And get, get rid of some of those self-limiting beliefs. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, you can have a resolution, but you need to also be able to follow through, be committed, have a coach, have someone to support you. And my guest, glory. I like to call you Gloria Grace. That's pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. And that, that's again, part of my, my, my journey is that for, I've only started using my middle name just a couple of years ago. Um, oh, but I realized that I needed to embrace it. That's what my mom gave me. And I, and I need and to. It, speak, it speaks to your character. Yeah. She knew exactly what she was doing. So <laughs> we want to speak to you here more often on the edge brains. I encourage you to not just watch the videos, but subscribe. Okay, mm -hmm. so subscriptions are very important. Go on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Blog Talk, Spotify, YouTube. We are all over the planet here mm -hmm. for you. Okay, thank you so much, Gloria Rand, for being here on the edge with us. My brains appreciate you and all the wonderful things that you do, and your sweet spirit touches my heart. Oh, thank you so much, April, and I appreciate all of you brains for watching, and if I can help any of you, please let me know. I would love to do that, but you are doing such a great job, so thank you so much for having me on, April. Well, thank you so much, brains. Uh, check her out immediately. <laughs> Have a great day, baby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.